Okay, Sky. Name me your top five favorite YouTubers, and don't include me because you'd normally include me. <sighs> um, and just so everyone knows who's watching, I've had no influence over who you're going to pick. Nope. Okay, so starting at number five, who's your fifth favorite? Toys and Me. Toys and Me is that little girl who plays with her toys constantly. Um, four? Yeah. Um, Comedy Shorts Gamer. Comedy Shorts Gamer, yeah. Three? KSI. KSI. Uh, number two? Jake Paul. Jake Paul at number two? Yeah. So who's number one? Logan Paul. Oh, Logan Paul, eh? Logan Paul, Jake Paul's brother. Uh, why do yeah. you like him so much? Why is he your favourite YouTuber? Um, because he's got really funny videos and he's really dramatic. He's dramatic. Yeah. He's a bit of an idiot, isn't he? And that dog's scratching his bum behind us. Oscar, <laughs> I'm trying to record a video here. Stop scratching your bum. So he's dramatic, he's an idiot, and you like him. Uh, you like yeah. his songs as well, don't you? Yeah. You also like his merch as well, don't you? Yeah, I got it for Christmas. Fun fight. If you lose this fun fight, yeah, you gotta. You're never allowed to watch him again. Go. <laughs> Oh, you're panicking. Run. You're panicking, you're never going to be able to watch him again. I can watch Jake Paul No, you can't. You can't watch any of them. They're both I'll, Wallis. I'll watch Chaos Fire then. Take two, one! No! Two, no! Three. No! No! Ow. Okay, so if by some miracle you don't know, a YouTuber with over 15 million subs by the name of Logan Paul yesterday or last night did something truly disgusting. Now, me personally, I do not watch him, nor his brother. It isn't my cup of tea, so to speak. I honestly can't stand that type of personality. But hey, dude and his brother have 25 million subs between them, so obviously they're doing something right, so hats off to them. Definitely better at YouTubing than most. Well, that was until yesterday. Now, the reason I am doing this video is because I feel I need to as a father. As you saw, and I didn't tell my daughter what to say, but my daughter's favorite YouTuber is Logan Paul. Now, I know being a Destiny content creator, a game with a mixed age fan base, where a lot of my followers do have children of their own, if this message just gets out to one of them, it would be way worth the time creating it. Now in the background, say if you see me on screen for as long as this video goes on, you can watch this amazing game in action. <laughs> LOL! Okay, so last night Logan Paul uploaded a video of him visiting Suicide Forest in Japan, a place which has gained fame for the number of suicides that happened there. Now people, if you do stuff out with any kind of mental illness or ill feelings towards your life, or any other life for that matter, please check out the links within the video description your life is definitely worth it okay so upon logan paul and his gang visiting this forest obviously filming while they're there they actually came across a person who had committed suicide this is where the video gets kind of sick he actually films the body in my opinion he's seemingly making jokes too he blurred out the face but you could clearly see the rest plus the fact he zooms in on the body within the video and this is what truly confuses me. The fact he uploaded this to YouTube for his millions of fans to see. What kind of human being does such a thing? He uploaded a video of a dead man while making jokes about it for personal gain. He did not, before anyone tries to say it, upload this for awareness. What he has done here is exploit a victim of suicide for his own personal gain. I mean this person who died no doubt had family, he suffered no doubt with depression or some kind of mental illness. If that wasn't the case and he killed himself for another reason then his life must have been real bad and he must have been going through some seriously hard times. But this is a human being, this is not a Halloween decoration like many people said. But to be honest if it was and he thinks he can prank a suicide for a video that's even more sick. The point of this video is, if you have a child, don't let them support such person. He made a statement about this after he took the video down, which was monetized by YouTube by the way, and it was trending, which is something else we'll talk about in a second. His statement basically, he admitted here he was in the wrong, and how he mentions he didn't do it for views, and he already gets views, and he did it because he thought it would make a positive ripple on the internet. What the flip is this guy on? You upload a video of a person who has killed themselves, stand next to the body, film it, mock it, and you think this is something positive? Jesus people, and this dude is my daughter's favourite YouTuber. 
If this guy wanted to make a positive ripple flow across the internet and make more people aware of the help that's out there for such people and people that suffer with depression and whatever else leads them to his suicidal thoughts or thinking, he would have or should have made a vlog of him sitting there in a room, not shouting or singing or being daft, being super serious and speak of what he saw and how such things should be taken care of with professional help or help of those around you. Tell somebody what you're feeling, tell somebody what you're thinking. That's what he should have done. But the fact he thinks of uploading a video of him and his clan mocking a guy hanging from a tree, using the image within the thumbnail and using tags for the video such as suicide along with comedy is truly disgusting. Even more to the fact of his target audience on YouTube are kids. This is not the person your kid needs to be watching. Broadcasting such to millions of kids making uh, such out to be okay and seemingly funny is pathetic. It really is. Suicide is a serious thing. People have lost loved ones, ones they cherish, ones they look up to. Filming such an incident and mocking that situation for the sake of a bit of YouTube rep is terrible and for this very reason he needs harsh punishment. I have videos removed and demonetized while I sit here playing a video game, yet YouTube look to push out such a video to millions more by making it trend while keeping his ads in place. YouTube need to fix up and take this matter seriously, handle this professionally. Yes, the guy obviously makes you millions, but the effect and influence he has over his audience, which is mainly young kids, is far greater and much more important than money. Let's hope you see it that way too and do the right thing. Also though, before I end, one thing I don't agree on here and that's the abuse this guy is getting. Yes, 100% what he did was wrong. Yes, he should pay for that. But no, he should not be bullied. The things I've seen people tweeting are truly disgusting and in my opinion, it makes you as bad as him here. There is no place for bullies on the internet. But on that note guys, I am out. Just wanted to give you guys my personal opinion on this matter as a father. A father to a daughter who this guy is her favourite YouTuber. On that note guys, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the